Hi everybody, this is me back in my good old days of putting on animal shows. I have my snake Sweepy with me. That's a little old Gene a chame Jackson's Chameleon. His wife Shannon, Jackson's Chameleon. Doing really good back then. Working on doing good now. But I got a couple colonies here of Dubia Roaches. And, uh... Some people might not know how to get a colony started, dubia roaches and what they eat, and so I was going to go over that kind of stuff. Um, if you're not interested in that, then, okay, I don't know, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, toilet paper rolls, egg cartons, um, oats, ground up with uh, cat food has a cat food has real high protein. Dubia roaches typically have 23% protein content in them. Very good for animals that uh, you know need a high protein, like these guys back here. I know you've seen them in my videos. That's Flotsam. That's Jetson flipping around. He knows what's up. When I put this colony up next to this tank. You can see it's two tanks here. They can tell that it's feeding time. Who knew that fish were that smart? So, very shy, beautiful. Had them a long time, eight, nine years. I don't know. I had them since they were cute little tadpoles and they started eating the other fish in the aquarium and getting bigger and bigger and bigger um I measured this is Jetsam he's a little over a foot long now Flotsam here it's kinda hard to see okay let me go right through okay see him he's the bigger of the two and you can see his tail's curved there can't really get a good view cause of the tank being in the way huh oh he moved all right, throwing a fit. Sorry, Flotsam. Now he's a foot and a half. He's definitely the dominant of the two. But they get along just fine. Now let's get us a roach. I just mix up this. Some, you know, uh, my dog, he won't eat some treats and stuff. Like these star-shaped things. He just turns his nose to them. So I mix them in and crunch them up. And you notice here that there's nothing really in here. This is leftover jelly crystals. And, oh, look at him swimming. Triathlon right there. That vibration... They can sense with their little barbels there at the tip of the nose that there's something up there to eat. If we're lucky, and I'll certainly try my best to switch the camera over to when he strikes. They're like snakes. Alright. So, we gotta flip this over. So, you got your milk cartons. You got your roaches living underneath them. The females, they don't have any wings on them. That's an older, nice female here. That's a younger female. <laughs> See something there you like? <laughs> so let's get us a roach. All right. Boop. Dropping them in there. You can hear this artificial grass is just full of roaches. I'm gonna give them one more meal. That's how it always goes. I'll give them a few now. 
No, nah, not that one. No, that's a good one. Now, you wouldn't believe that this little part here. Check this out. Boom. Not good lighting. Quite the colony. All different sizes and shapes. Then out the herd. That's why I don't have a... Uh, water for you know 200 300 um roaches is because they'll use up all of the jelly now that's enough roaches for today i fixed their home back put it down like this now you don't want to put your cart see how the bumps are up if i set it like that there's not going to be any room so i set them Like this, down like that, and then like that. And that gives them a nice little area down in here to live. I hate that there's so many uh, glares from lighting. I don't, know. I don't know if this makes anything better. Totally not. Makes the fish tank look better a little bit. Sorry, folks. Okay. Give me one second here. Alright, so. What I use for, uh, so I don't drown my dubia roaches, is a little thing called cricket clincher. It's like a gelatin inside of there. Jelly. You can use the same stuff for house plants. As long as there's no harmful uh, dyes or colors or anything in it. Because you got to think, whatever these roaches eat, your animal's eating. And just sprinkle some in here. And they won't drown. And they'll be happy. You don't want to fill... It's better to almost fill up every two or three days. Well, the colony size I have is getting a little out of control. But you'll have to adjust it. Uh, all I'm trying to say is you don't want to fill that dish up. Because they will drown. So just a little, little bit, little and frequent is better. So that is that. Some egg crates, gelatin, oats, cat food, dog. They're roaches, so they'll eat what other animals do not eat. And as you can tell, I've got a nice colony going on here. You got some happy fish in there. Got some unhappy roaches in there. But I love how these guys now know when I bring this tank up that it's it's feeding time. <laughs> I think they might even wait till I put the lid on. Oh, another good fact about dubia roaches. They're so heavy. And they don't got that great of pads on their feet for climbing. They can't climb. They can't climb and get out. Plastic, glass. They'll fall before they make it. So there's not even a worry about that. i um, going to set the phone down for one second. You'll get a nice view of, I guess, their food and water. All right, so that's that's how you get your dubia roaches to breed, and I'm sure there's plenty of different ways to do it, but if you just want food for your bearded dragons, leopard geckos, um, any of that kind of stuff, just get yourself, you know, a good amount, I'd say 50, 25 to 50, and uh, they'll just start going from there. Keep up on their water, they'll dry out and die. Uh, keep up on their food, they'll just start eating each other. Um, this one's funny, I have like little tunnels and stuff to lead to their uh, food and water dishes. Oh, here we go. Come on, Flotsam, you big fatty. 
you can make it to those roaches up there. Kind of a, like I said, I put the tank away and now they're actually hunting. They have really good eyesight though. Part of the rope fish family, they kind of stand on their tail. See that? And attack from underneath. Nope. And there he goes. Happy. You can't fit in there, silly. I don't think he meant to do that. Or he's eating he's eating in privacy. <laughs> Great fish though. Very hard to keep. Uh, you don't want other fish living with them. Uh, it's kind of a, you know, I got a 55 gallon tank here and it's dedicated to them. And the Placos, they, they actually stack on top of the Placos and it's really cute how they bond. I got some Raphael striped catfish in there. They, they all get along. Alright, so that's my Dubia Roach. Advice, tricks, and tips. Uh, it's not that hard. Never pay for uh, food again or have to leave the house to feed your animals. And, uh, you know, you don't, your animals don't have to wait on food. So, got another animal here who eats food. But that's just regular old dog with regular old dog food. Good boy, whiskey. All right, love you guys. Peace.